And so the next game on the card is Nimrod's Guncraft Survivor. Again, this is the Steam Next Fest demo of the game. This one is available for PC and Mac OS. It will be coming soon. It does not have an actual release date, but it does say that it is coming soon. Um, as I was saying earlier, um, with this one, I had some issues with the controller, but then I realized my controller was dead. So I will be using a DualShock controller. I had to kind of program the controller to do what I wanted it to do. By the way, I'm, I'm gonna see if it's working. Okay, yeah. So I had to kind of like control like, or, you know, set it up a bit to get it to, um, I like this build better. So we're gonna put that there, I guess. No. Oh, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure, no, it was this build. Um, for my drone so ideally what this is it's kind of like a survivor's game so i didn't set up the controller completely but um it's kind of a survivor's game and as you go you get to choose your weapon and then build on that weapon so um we're gonna be playing with the pistol Okay, so hard charm, max health plus 10. Yeah, we kind of want the health region, but let's go through all of them. Weighted stock, bullet damage, reload speed, move speed, and armor, and enchanted buoyant. So let's do the hard charm because that's gonna give us survivability. Um, weighted stock. Okay, armor rock, bullet damage, and magazine size, under barrel flamethrower. Let's do this one. I was gonna say must be a new capsule up here. I'm a rock. Gyroscope harness. Let's do the armor rock this time. I keep trying to get down here to see what's down there. Fancy heart charm. When taking damage, gain 60 health regeneration per minute. Yep, we're gonna do the heart charm. But let's see the other ones. Jack stock. On picking up XP, gain a jet stack for one point to move you faster. I'm gonna do the heart charm. Because we wanna kinda go for survivability. trying to see what's down here oh we got a friend nice and I do like this one because it's you know it's not exactly like the survivor games that I am used to. Bubbles Gun Butter. Rate of Fire and Dodge Skill. Ripper Clips. 35 magazine size resource bonus. Let's do the magazine, magazine size. I like to have a lot of bullets because I forgot to. Um, ideally, I forgot to set up. 
the reload button on the controls. So, yeah. Now, I don't know if it has changed from before. Okay. Blood Magazine, 1.25 bullet damage, 1.5 reload speed, bullet damage. Let's take the bu bullet damage and reload speed. We kind of want to start building up um, now for how fast we're going to be able to, um, you know, reload. Because that's going to come in handy here in a bit. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. Because it's going to get even crazier. So that's going to come in handy. grab our next upgrade bullet size collection range and effect size that might be good to have xp gain rate and five credit bonus i'm gonna i think we're gonna do the bullet size and the collection range let's do that instead Yeah, it's gonna get crazy hectic. Um, we will probably do the f bullet damage more than likely, but here's one that does armor, health, and XP. Then we have reload speed, bullet speed, and move speed. Mm, I think we do the reload speed because I need to be able to reload faster. I look, I, I low key, like, you know, and like, it's not that I don't normally play like survivor type games, but I do like this one because it has, <laughs> you know, the ability to craft your own like gun and stuff. And you can make it, you know, Okay, so we got Blood and Thunder, Penetrations, Bully Count, Max Health, and Health Regen. Oh, Then we got Fame and Fortune, which is Crit Chance, XP Gain, XP Gain, Credit Drop Chance, and Credit Bonus, Critical Bonus, Rate of Fire, Vision Range, and Air Drop Capacity. And then not back power, two armor, bullet damage, and a special power. Um, 
You know what? Let's do blood and thunder. We are gonna take blood and thunder. We're gonna probably do reload speed. It says 1.6 per minute for health regen on that one though. But I feel like if we take our reload speed up, that might also help us. So let's do, we're gonna do reload speed and see. I will say I don't like that second type of weapon. I chose the flamethrower and I don't really care for it. We need these for apples. I might just be able to get one run of this. Okay, so slick shot springs, reload speed, and a healing bonus. Again, at this point, I want my healing and my reload to be way up there. So, yeah, there we go. But I'm definitely feeling this one. Like, like I said, I don't have anything against the like survivor type games but this one is definitely a lot different because it's not like you get to keep the weapons per se that you build so each time you're gonna be building new weapons Um, so we got one. Yeah, we probably also need to start taking our fire rate up too. rate of fire Max health and armor when hit by an enemy release a ooh, okay On hit while less than 50% Nope on collecting credit released a 2.5 meteor range but this also takes up the rate of fire and it's faster and our and our bullet speed is faster. So let's do this one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my drone's upgrading their gun too. I just noticed that. I tried to get in here last time just to see what it was about, but. Oh, this game is not nice. It was like, how dare you try to get into areas you're not allowed in. Oh. Hey, big guy, who are you? You must be Le Boss. Must be lay boss. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So blood and thunder. We will probably take blood and thunder again. Because that's going to take all of that up. So let us take blood and thunder. Coffinage Striker. 20% crit. 10% not back. Underbarrel recharge rate. Ability recharge. 
Let's do this one. Okay. Lightweight stock. Oh. So I do like that this will include our increase our move speed. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the lightweight because I want to. Oh, what is those? They're new. Hi, oh, you're new also. Okay. Okay. Um, bullet damage and max health, bullet size, collection range, and effect size. Let's do that one. Because I imagine when they say collect. Oh, now we're getting into some really interesting creatures. Looking for the um Oh Dang it. That was a good run though. It says we ran for eleven minutes, but um on my um I think it says I've been playing this for like eighteen, so um but yeah, so we reached level fourteen. We survived for 11 minutes, so, um, go home. Um, yeah, can we put this one on there? Cause that one was like freaking OP. Um, okay, so go to the missions. We're gonna claim all of our stuff. I imagine that um, when the full game comes out, you'll be able to use the credits. Oh, okay, no, here we go. So now, I, okay, so usually when I play shooters, I tend to go with assault rifles. So I will be purchasing that and I'll purchase the shotgun the shoddy um and that's about it that's all i can buy so okay but we are gonna go ahead and wrap up um nimrod's there um so that is that was nimrod's guncraft survivor if you like what you saw of the game please be sure to go ahead and wishlist the full version of the game it allows for you to do that right in the game. You can go down to wish list. Um, I'm gonna see if I can take the time and try to wish list it. Um, but the game itself is available on PC and Mac OS. Again, please keep in mind that this was the demo for the game. 
so that um, anything you saw here may or may not be in the final versions of the game when it does release. Yeah, you're gonna... Okay, it's already on my wish list. I must have wish listed earlier today. Um, but do keep in mind that anything that you saw in this gameplay video or in this... Um, from this footage may or may not be in the final version of the game. Um, but this demo is available during Steam Next Fest, which again takes place from February the 5th of 2024 to february 12th 2024 only reason i'm saying that is if anybody else run across this after that time um if the demo is no longer available uh be sure to go ahead and wishlist this again uh, wishlisting the games does help the developers games to be seen and like the new and upcoming section um it can end up in the new one and trending and with enough wishlist for the game they can even make it to the front page of Steam. So, as I like to say, go ahead and whenever you see a game that you like, wishlisting does help. Um, so be sure to go ahead and wishlist the game. Of course, if you are here in chat tonight, you can use exclamation point SNF2024, which will bring up a list of all the games that I'm covering for Steam Next Fest. If you are watching this VOD on YouTube, then you will be able to get the information to the game below in the description box. But yeah, that was Nimrod's Guncraft Survivor. Really like this one. Um, like I said, I definitely have to go back and tweak um, the controls for the DualShock. Because um, it, it did not read the DualShock controls. So earlier today, I had to set it up. And I forgot to program a reload button. <laughs> Because um, if I could have been reloaded, I think some of those transitions that I was doing in the game could have been a little bit better if I could have manually reload as opposed to waiting for the, you know, run out of bullets and it reload. Um, also in this game, for those um, that want the extra, there is a screen shake, but because I have motion sickness, I turned it off. Um, but you can also turn on auto aim and auto fire as well if you want to make it even easier for you to make it feel more like a survivor's game or you can keep them off, you know, and play the way that I played. I, I personally liked to be able to aim and shoot the things that I wanted to shoot as opposed to having auto aim and auto fire. So, um, but um, it also does use um, keyboard and mouse as well. When I first played this, I played with keyboard and mouse too. I got the controller set up. So, um, and keyboard and controller, uh, keyboard and mouse controls are pretty good too. Um, it's just this one felt more natural to me with the controller. So, um, but again, that is Nimrod's Guncraft Survivor.